right? Somebody on the forum was asking a little bit about dog training. He noticed uh, the way that Scout acts in some of the videos. Sometimes he's uh, pretty crazy going after sticks and deer and stuff like that. But for the most time, uh, to quote him, he's pretty squared away. Um, and I told him I could make a vid about how I use my pincher collar, the pincher collar on the dog. So this is obviously a pincher collar. Doesn't hurt the dog, no matter what anybody tells you. He's not scared of it. I mean, if he's scared of it, he running. He knows what it means. It means he's going to work. That's what this breed is for. Uh, for working, they thrive on it. So there's a couple couple things on how to use it. First off, putting it on. You're never going to slide it over the dog's head. You're never going to have it together and slide it over the dog's head. It's meant to be tight. It's meant to sit right up under the ears right here so you get the maximum control. You don't want it sliding all over the place. If it's loose and it's sliding, you're not getting the proper correction. Okay, um, so to take it off, you just undo it, easy. And then when I put it on, I just kind of line up where I'm going to put the leash in, and put it around his neck, so that it's really up around his ear, uh, underneath his ears, and it's on, okay? That's tight. I can fit a finger in between, but that's tight. I'll show you closer in a second. I'll show you right now, I guess. Sorry, it's gonna be kind of shoddy at first. So, there's two hoops, okay? You don't want to just put it through the one, you want to put it through both of the hoops. So the, the leash is going through both of these hoops, okay? I've got a good firm grip on it, okay? And we're going to go out and we're going to walk around the block. But you, you notice I, I haven't been saying, you want to go for a walk, you want to go for a walk, and get them all hyped up. Like I know he knows what I mean right now, uh, but I'm not like antagonizing, let's go for a walk, blah, 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 blah. That's just stupid in my opinion. You're, 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 you're building the dog up. So that he's going to be all agitated, all hyper and, and rambunctious before when you're trying to get him calm walking. So I just grab the, the leash out of the collar, or sorry, the leash and the collar out of, the, out of where I keep it and I put it on him. He's, he has his leash and collar on him and he's not doing anything. He's just sitting here because I didn't amp him up. Okay, it's a lot of, one of the mistakes a lot of people make. So I'll just show you a few things before we head out. Uh, let's go off. Good. Come back here. Come here. Sit. Good sit, wait. So I'm giving him commands right now and he's listening and I don't have to correct him because he knows all of this already. But when you're first starting out, there's ways to use this color, okay? So I'm going to give him a stand command. He's standing now, right? So I'm not going to say the word. Oh, good boy. I know. Stand up. Stand up. I'm not going to say the word where he puts his butt on the ground because he'll do it. Um, I'm Okay, I'm going to say the word. Forget it. I'm going to tell him the command, and I'm going to show you on on the, the, the pincher collar how to do it. So for sit, it's you tell him the command sit, and you pull straight up, okay, and they sit. Now that's not going to happen like that right the first time, but the key to it is to not say sit, 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 and pull and pull and pull and pull and pull and let go of all that stuff. You say the command one time, okay? One time and then you pull straight up until he sits, all right? For down, I give the command down. And he's going to do it, and I'm not going to correct him at first. Good down, good down, because he knows it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it. Stand. Sit. Okay, so the down command, it just like sit was up, down. No, wait, 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 good boy. Down is down. So I'm going to pull down on it and tell him down. Continuous pressure down. And when he lays down, same as sit. When they do what you want, you say good and then repeat the command. So he sat, good sit. If he, he go, you tell him down, he goes down, good down. Don't say good boy, good dog. It's, it's the command 
and then the praise that corresponds with the command. Sit, good sit, down, good down, uh, stand, good stand. Okay, so the stand command, is I have the leash in my hand, I'm gonna pull it towards the dog's nose. Stand, good stand, sit. Good sit, good. Big praise to it first, because that's what they're thriving on. We're not, this kind of training isn't treat training. Okay, there's nothing wrong with treat training if you want to um, start off that way, but I, I believe personally that your dog should listen to you because you're telling them what to do, not because they're getting a reward out of it. Okay, they're doing something for something, not because you said, not to be rewarded. Uh, my reward to him is praise and, and petting, you know what I mean? That's, that's what he wants more than anything. This dog doesn't care about treats. Treat, treat, treat. He doesn't know the word treat. Most dogs be going crazy. You want a treat? He doesn't even move. He doesn't know the word. Doesn't mean I don't give him treats. It means I don't give him treats for doing things. I give him treats when I'm sitting down eating dinner, when I'm watching a movie, I can give him something, you know what I mean? It's not because he did something to deserve the treat. He does something to deserve my praise, that's fine, I'll give him praise. Good boy. So same thing with, with the up command, okay? If you want your dog to jump over something or jump up onto something, you're gonna use a command, you're gonna use up. And you're always gonna stick with the same commands for everything. So for up, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell him up and I'm gonna, no, hold on, sit. And I'm gonna move him with the, the leash up onto the couch, okay? Up, good, up. When I want him to get off of the couch, I'm gonna use the word off, not down, because down means to lay down, okay? I can put him up on top of something, now say down. And he lays down. If I wanted him to get off and I was saying down, it would confuse him. So the command is off, let's go off. Good, off. And now how to do that with the command, up with the leash, it's just, you give him a little tug off, off. Good, good, off, yeah. Okay, so going in and out of your house um, is a big thing. The pack leader goes in the door first and goes out the door first. So when I'm leaving, I'm gonna leave first. When I'm coming home, I'm co coming in first. Uh, that's just to simulate the pack leader thing. That's what you wanna be. So I'll show you how to do that. So he's sitting, he's gonna wait there for me. I'm gonna literally go outside. Scout, come. Wait for him. Good, come. Now he's outside. I'm tell him to sit. Put him into a sit. Then I'm going to go back inside, shut my door. And this is our routine every single time, okay? So then when it's time for for me to go, I grab him, say heel. Pick it on again. Yep, always. Let me walk. He wants to go that way, so I'm gonna turn this way. Never let the dog dictate um, where you're gonna go, okay? So with walking, this leash is loose and he's not pulling. If you have, oh sorry, there's the loose leash there. If you have a tight leash, like you're pulling back like this the whole time, uh, I always say a loose leash is a loose dog, a tight leash is a tightly wound dog. So this is how you want to be walking. Okay, I'm barely touching this, this leash. When he starts to go ahead of me a little bit, I'm just going to pull back, give him the command heel. Okay, sit. Put him into a sit. This is, I don't, I don't recommend doing this until you know your dog's going to listen. So there's him sitting there. I'm walking across this street. He's gonna stay there until I tell him to come. Come! He really should have listened on that first come. Sit. Good. Good. So when you get um, a little bit more experience doing this, you can have your dog sit. Sit, scope. Good sit. Walk away from him. You notice I'm not telling him to stay. Sit is the stay command. I told him to sit and I didn't tell him anything else after that so he needs to still be sitting. So I don't use stay. So I'm gonna give him a down command from a distance. Scout, down. Nope, back. He didn't listen because we haven't been working on this too much. So I'm gonna bring him right back to his spot, give him a little correction, a little tug on the thing. Sit. 
Then I'll put them into a down because that's what I told them to do, down. So it's consistency, it's following through. Not everything works every single time. Um, that obviously didn't work. And I brought them there and with no emotion. I'm not like, angry or upset about it. Now there's these two little kids running towards him and that's probably not a good idea. But uh, so I'm just gonna tell them to stand and come. Good. So as I was saying though, you don't hold a grudge. You don't, you don't um, worry about it because he didn't listen. You just put him back and, and, and make him do what you said without emotion. All right, Scout, you a good boy. Now this is my house here. And when we come up to the sidewalk leading up to my house, he knows what to do. I didn't say a word to him and he sat down. Good sit. Once again, I don't recommend you do this until you know that your dog's not gonna take off or whatever. So he's way back there. I'm gonna open my door, take my time. All the time he's just sitting right there. I'm literally gonna take my keys out of the door, shut my door, take my shoes off, open my door back up, and wait until I say the word before he's gonna come. Oh, look at that, awesome. Because there was people walking across the street, he did not listen. Come on. Come. So once again, without emotion, put him back, give him a little correction. Have him stay there. So it just goes to show you, like, he's done this a thousand times and he never moves, but there was people walking across the street with a baby carriage and he was kind of, kind of tripped out by it. And now there's people driving by, but that's right, he shouldn't move because, uh, wait. Just because I want to make him wait a little bit longer because he moved. Come. Now he's going to go behind me automatically. He's going to step behind me, not in front of me, and that's a sh sign of, good boy, sign of uh, submission. So taking this thing off, you do the same thing from the same link, you just pop it off, okay, and that's it, easy. Put it on, take it off, it takes a little bit to get used to. And then, big praise for a good walk. Just lots of petting. I don't have to say anything to him. Just big praise. Boy. And then let him do what he wants. Let him go get a drink. You're allowing him now to go get a drink, do whatever, fulfill need, whatever needs he needs. And that's a reward as well. Um, by letting him drink water, by letting him... Um, uh, Go pee, eat food, whatever. Those are you're filling, you're fulfilling needs that he needs, and that's a reward as well. And what he wants to do is just get petted right now, as you can see. So that's very, very, very basic. There's more to it. Um, what you have to remember, obviously, is sorry, just one second. What you have to remember, obviously, is to keep a cool head all the time. Like I said, be almost robotic about it, except for when you're praising. You can show emotion when you're praising. Um, but this method isn't for everyone, like I've said a thousand times. Whatever method of training or whatever you want to call it um, makes you comfortable, that you're comfortable with, use that. If you want to treat train, by all means treat train. If you want to use a choke color, whatever, just make sure you're doing it right and make sure you feel comfortable doing it. Because if you're second guessing yourself, well, oh, I don't know if this pincher is hurting him, you're feeling bad, and that's, the dog's gonna pick up on that and, and not understand why. It, it knows that you're feeling bad about it, but he has no clue why. He doesn't, can't rationalize. Um, like this dog's happy as hell, he's licking me. We just, I just took the pincher collar off and we had a good walk. He, he's, he's a content dog. 
Um, walking an hour a day is the best uh, for the dog. It's going to create stability. It's going to create a sense of routine, all that stuff. So I hope that worked out. I hope that that answered everybody's or the one forum member's questions. And that's it. If you have any more questions, let me know.